and, and that's I, I think some people miss that sometimes. You're never, ever, ever, no matter who you are and what your thought process is and what you believe, you're never going to be righteous enough for the mob. You're never pure enough for Thank the you. mob. Thank you. And that is absolutely true. 100%. Yeah. And I think everybody, no matter where you are in that political spectrum and what your beliefs are, you might want to keep that in mind. Yeah, because it's not, yeah. they're not really, you know, like the whole idea is that this is the, they're about kindness and consideration. That's horseshit. They're about control. And they're, yeah. they're using kindness and consideration and inclusiveness, all these things, as talking points to allow them to exercise control. This is an ideology. It's a cult. It really is. Yeah. It's a weird one. It's a weird one because it's sort of embedded itself in our universities, and then now it's made its way into corporations. And when I see it in the military, I get very fucking concerned because my, my concern is... How do we know that this shit isn't manipulated and put into there by foreign governments, by, by foreign intelligence agencies? I'm sure you've seen that yeah. video from, uh, did you ever see the video from the KGB? Uh, th there was a guy from the KGB oh. in the 1980s that was talking about the plan to destroy America. Have you ever seen that video? I have, yeah. I know what you're talking it's about. It's a wild yeah. video. Yeah. Should we play yeah. it? Yeah. Do you know the video, Jamie? If it's yeah. still up and running. Yo, yo, Play okay. a little bit of this. Yeah. This is KGB defector Yuri Bezem, Bezmanov's mm -hmm. warning to America. Let's listen to some of this. Before about ideological subversion. That is a phrase that uh, I'm afraid some Americans don't fully understand. When uh, the Soviets use the phrase ideological subversion, what do they mean by it? Ideological subversion is, is the process which is legitimate, overt, and open. You, you can see it with your own eyes. All, all you have to do, all American mass media has to do is to unplug their bananas from their ears, open up their eyes, and they can see it. There is no mystery. There is nothing to do with espionage. I know that espionage intelligence gathering looks more romantic. It sells more deodorants through the advertising, probably. That's why <laughs> so a lot of Hollywood producers are so crazy about James Bond type of, of thrillers but in reality the main emphasis of the KGB is not in the area of it intelligence at all according to my uh, opinion and opinion of many defectors of my caliber only about 15 percent of time money and manpower is spent on espionage as such the other 85 percent is a slow process which we call either ideological subversion or active measures, actively мероприятия in the language of, of the KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, their community, and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process, which goes very slow, and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism, American patriotism. The result? The result you can see. Most of the people who graduated in the 60s, dropouts or half-baked intellectuals, are now <laughs> occupying the positions of power in the government, civil service, business, mass media, educational system. You are stuck with them. You cannot get rid of them. They are contaminated. They are programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in a certain pattern. You cannot change their mind. Even if you, if you expose them to authentic information, even if you prove that white is white and black is, uh, is black, you still cannot change the basic perception and the logic of behavior. In other words, these people, uh, uh, the process of demoralization is complete and irreversible. To get rid society of these people, you have you need another 20 or, or, or 15 years to educate a new generation of patriotically minded and, and, and uh, common, common sense people 
who would be acting in favor and in the interests of, of, the, uh, of the United States society. And yet these people who've been programmed and, as you say, in place and yes. who are favorable to an opening with the Soviet concept, mm -hmm. these are the very people who would be marked for extermination in this country? Most of them, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, simply because the psychological shock when, when they will see in future what the, what the beautiful society of equality and social justice means in practice, obviously they will revolt they, they, they will uh, they, they will be very unhappy frustrated people and the marxist leninist regime does not tolerate these people uh, they obviously they will join the links of dissenters mm -hmm. dissidents yes. uh, unlike in present united states there will be no place for dissent in, in future marxist leninist america uh, here you can you can get uh, popular like uh, Daniel Ellsberg and filthy rich like Jane Fonda for being dissident, for criticizing your Pentagon. In future, these people will be simply squashed like cockroaches. Nobody is going to pay them nothing for their... We're seeing this happen right now. Years. I mean, yeah. we, this goes on. This is a 13-minute video. The title of it is KGB Defector Yuri Bezmenov's Warning to America. You should watch it. It's on YouTube. It's fucking wild yeah. and it's so accurate. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself. It's a slow process which we call active measures. What matters is essentials. Economy, foreign relations, defense systems. With a violent change of power, structure and economy, period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C., who will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. The disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. 